you could hop in a time machine at yourself right now. Find yourself eight years ago. What's the one thing you would say to watch out for, or to learn, or to keep in mind? And how would you convince yourself that you should follow your own advice? I, I think I would have to think about that a little longer. Uh, $97. What technique was $97 using? Oh, jeez. That's a good question. Uh, Don't date that girl, that would be the first face of <laughs> um. Wet palette. It's becoming com common knowledge, but it is not fully common knowledge yet. Wet palette, super helpful. Shadow, highlight, contrast, 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 like all these things yeah, that... Like one thing. One thing, two brush blending. I'd want to know how two brush blend. And why? Because uh, it's fast and uh, I get like really extreme contrast push and it gives you that blending all in one step. And it's a practice technique, but once you get it, it becomes super, super fast. And so that's what I'm all about. Work your two-dimensional skills. Learn how to do everything you're doing on a model on like a piece of watercolor paper. You can draw inspiration from everywhere. And in the city that I live in Berlin, it's a very, it's a big street art city. So one thing that I um, really grew fond of is walking around in the area. Um, my district where there is a lot of street art and just seeing how color combinations on the street art pieces are to see if that is a good combination because it's in a way it's like a free um, free color inspiration without you having to, to put any <laughs> any color on your miniature. Enjoy. Enjoy. Just that. If you don't enjoy the hobby, that's not a hobby. Okay. If you don't be a professional, you must enjoy. Because if you don't enjoy, you will go to another field, a video games or another things. And if you are a beginner, uh, if you are a beginner, enjoy. <laughs> I wouldn't change anything. I'd probably give myself a high five. So. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I because I'm happy. For 99% of the people here, it's it's a hobby, and they're still quite stressed about it. And I think stress prevents from learning. Mm. And the best thing is actually to just enjoy it, enjoy the ride. I want to plant seeds in, in people to, to make them understand that they have to search for their own vision, you know, without being constrained by boundaries. The best advice would be to, that there isn't one way to paint. There's lots of tons of different ways to paint. You just go out there and study with as many people as you can, get inspired by other people, and don't, don't fall into the trap of thinking that there's one way to do things. There, there is no, no guidebook for sure how to do a technique right. There are only different styles, personal choices to choose to do a certain technique the way you do. This is like, let's say, football or any sport, you know, or basketball. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can tell you, okay, this is a, a dribbling. And in, in a neutral situation, this dribbling has to be done like this. Okay, but then in the pitch, in the in the, say, court, the court, in the court, you have to adapt this technique to the situation because you have two defenders coming, one from one side, the other one is coming from the front. This guy is so is much taller than you. The other one is is uh, quicker than you, and you have to adapt this technique to the situation. So, to me, painting or sculpting or, or drawing is always an exercise of freestyle and then reflection. Try working on larger figures so you have more room to work. You know, a lot of time you're like working on a miniature and it's, for some people it's difficult to work in a small area. You have a larger figure, you have more room to work. I have pieces that uh, you just have to work through the ass point of the model. That's what I've heard it called, like the point that you don't like. So you have to work through it. Yeah, and don't let a single uh, bad uh, experience taint it all for you, you know. It will happen with, it, with anything, you'll have a bad experience now and then, you know, some person who's insecure with their own work will say something crappy to you. Yeah. And not let that uh, get you down. You just kind of keep on coming back and, yeah. I think it's like my mantra for, for like the, the last 20 years and it will be still the one in, in 20 years is be relaxed about it. Um, be happy about your achievements. Also, like, actually watch closely what you're doing. Because a lot of people, 
it's funny because we paint something so small and we're focused on something like quite controllable in our hands and still people don't pay actually attention to what they're doing. And so they're not self-analyzing what they like about what they're doing mm. and they're not analyzing like, um, okay, I don't like this part of the model. I might leave that model like this and improve it with the next one. They just go like, oh, it's done. And I would choose improve. I mean that we all the time strive to improving our works, that we shouldn't stop at any point trying new stuff. So uh, that we shouldn't be afraid of trying new techniques and uh, expanding our sight, how the miniature could be painted. Because sometimes we are focusing on some elements and don't uh, see the, the bigger picture. And uh, I think that we should all the time try, try to improve our, uh, our understanding what can be done. Be brave with what you're willing to try, trying new things, going out there and talking to people that are a lot better than you and be brave enough to talk to them. And because we've all been where you're at, you know, I can show you my first miniature, it's terrible, like, you know. Um, so it's like we all start at the same place. I have a, also the coachings, the virtual coachings, uh, the Skype coachings. I have a lot of people, actually, it's like three of 16 people that tend to simple green everything that they do. Um, so it's like, okay, keep it, put it. I, we, we, we now have like um, a small exercises, like finish something, put it in a time capsule with a date on, open it in a year and see your own improvements. Like realize what you've been improving in the last year and like draw joy from that. And we want to help you feel good about yourself and your work. My favorite miniature ever painted, ever, is the one you just finished. Oh, okay. I like that. Yeah. Timeline. That's good. Um, so, that being said, you, you But being, you know, freelance professional, it, that's kind of like the bad part of it because there's no day off. So. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that we will be asking them about politics. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> I can talk about Not loose. I mean, you, <laughs> you don't necessarily have um, that when you paint miniatures because it's such a small scale, but you could still probably figure that out. I feel like I need scotch. Uh, no, no. We could get some. Or you could drink paint water. I, I could drink the paint water. Don't do that. That'd be bad. Um, I mean, we all have. <laughs>